morning. This is Nathan here again on the Dream Helper channel. I got to turn this music down a little bit. I don't want to get in trouble. This is episode number two, I guess you would say, of the life out on the road or the life of a trucker, RV hot shotter, RV transporter, hot shotter, trucker, whatever you want to call it. And uh, today we're on our way to get a haircut. We're on a 34 hour reset up in Napanee, Indiana. And uh, if you ever need a good place to stay and you're a driver and you're in Napanee, Indiana, go by the Countryside Inn. They're off of uh, US 6. And uh, tell them you're a driver and you'll get a good deal on a room for the night recommend you stay in there another good place is uh, the Comfort Inn up in Goshen, Indiana there's a room up there that gives drivers discounts as well but anyway we on our way down here to get us a haircut then we're going to go back over to the driver's lounge at the Horizon Yard Horizon's who I'm leased on with and we're going to do our laundry not really an exciting day, but it's just things that we do out here on the road. And uh, get to see the beautiful countryside here. And on my right is nothing but corn. On my left is nothing but soybeans and houses and stuff. So we're riding down the road. We're in the middle of the Amish country. Uh, if you've never seen Amish or, or anything like that, they're pretty cool to see. Horse and buggies running up and down the road. You got to watch for them. Don't run into them. And how they do their everyday life, they don't like to be on camera or take pictures of. So we try to respect that and not do that. But uh, they plow these fields and harvest these crops and and their hay and and everything by horse and horsepower. And so. Some of them use equipment. Some of them use horses and equipment. And it's just a difference in their way they operate versus the way we operate. But hey, but today, just wanted to give you a shout out. We'll, have, we'll come back up with some more information or something later on. You never know what's going to take place in everyday living in trucking, RV, transport, and hot shot, whatever. We see something exciting, we'll try to get it on camera where you can see it. Otherwise, we'll just come on here and talk about things that pop into our mind that might be a help, might be an encouragement, might make things life, uh, your life a little easier out here on the road. Uh, places like Countryside, places like the Comfort Inn, when we hear about them, we'll try to let you know about them and stuff like that. That way you can Google them, get their information, and tell them who you are and what you're doing and that kind of stuff. But anyway, until next time, we'll be right back. It won't be long for you, but we'll be right back. Today, see if I can get a little shot of him there. 
He does drive away. I do tow away, as you can see the big camper in the back. And block the view there for a minute. We got all of our junk back here in the back seat. Typical day on the road, doing much. So Ross, tell us a little bit about your division. My division's easy. You just put the key in, hook and go. Let me turn the camera there where they can see you a little better. How about leaning over? Mine's easy. You just put your key in and get in and drive away. If you use a tow car, though, it's not as easy, is it? No. Now, if you got a tow car, at least you got a way to get back to where you got to go. Then they ain't got to wait on you, wait on people like me to come and get you, do they? Nope. <laughs> but hey, typical life out here on the road in RV transport. We'll catch up with you down the road. All right, y'all. I had my buddy Law Ross with me a little while ago, and he was telling you a little bit about the RV transport and me and him's running together. He does the drive away side. I do the tow away as you can see there. Got my big 30 foot travel trailer going down here just outside of Nashville, Tennessee today. And they close a little bit early so I can't deliver it till in the morning. So I just thought I'd come on here and tell you I'm sitting here waiting doing my 30 minute break and uh, waiting on Ross to catch up with me. He had to stop, make a stop. So, and we're gonna stop and look at a car for him since we can't deliver till tomorrow. He's gonna look at getting him a tow car from another one of you out there. It's already got the tow bars and hitches and lights and all that stuff with it. So, you know, typical things that we can do as we do RV transporting. Uh, it's a little different to be able to do that if you drive a big rig or if you're pulling a flatbed in the RV transporting, it's a little bit more harder to be able to do that kind of stuff. But with what we're doing and everything, we get a, a have a little bit more freedom a little bit more choices and things we can do but keep it in the back of your mind i'm i might step up one of these days to haul and tow which is a truck haul one on the truck and then tow one behind it i can get i can get reloads on the way back i can haul one car something like that and that might be something that you guys might be interested in doing i don't know a whole lot about it but as we learn I know it. Uh, I know it will pay more than just doing the single tow. But what I like about the single tow is when I drop that trailer, it's just me and my truck. I don't have to worry about finding special places to park. It's just me and my pickup, and I can go about anywhere that I could go if I was just going to visit. I can go and do that. I don't have to worry about all that. So anyway, I'm sitting here waiting on him. He'll be here in a few minutes, and then we're gonna catch up and go on down the road and look at a car that he's gonna try to buy. Maybe when we get down there to that car, we'll video that, let you see what he's getting, and some more of the everyday life of trucking, RV transporting, hot shot, whatever, maybe. But anyway, we'll catch up with you somewhere else before this day's out. So, remember a few minutes ago I told you we was going to get a car from my buddy? Well, there it is. Nice little car that he can pull behind these units when he pulls them and takes them, delivers them. So, you never know. So, yeah, we're here. Pick that unit up, pick this car up. Pretty good little deal there for that car. He got a real good deal on it. Pull it with this. He's gonna get him another hitch, different hitch, where you can hook it up to 
tractors and buses and whatever else he might need to haul or pull. But that's it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, got this thing hooked up. Going to Colorado with it. We still here at Topeka Yard. Just got through taking our pictures. Just when you get through hooked up, pull out somewhere, get away from everything where you can take good detailed pictures of before you leave the yard. And then when you get to your destination, take more good detailed pictures where you can make sure you document everything that you do. I mean, make sure you're placard your own before you enter the yard and as you exit bud flaps all that good stuff need to be on as you can see that's a big fifth wheel 40 foot we're getting ready to go to colorado and we're going to see what goes on from there we'll catch up with you somewhere else be safe out there there of the hood of my truck the bug guard on the front was busted what happened was I was coming up the interstate and uh, following a tractor and trailer a good two truck lengths back and it run over a piece of uh, four by four plywood about three quarters of an inch thick shot it up in the air about three stories high I'm running 65, 70 mile an hour down the road, and before it come back down, I caught up with it. As it come down, it hit me right there on the bug guard, busted it. Now, let me tell you something. All I could see was is that thing coming through the windshield and cutting my head off. Thank the Lord it didn't. I'm still here. <laughs> but, yeah, it broke my bug shell, bounced up, and come back down on my hood, and then it did, as you could see, it never did touch the windshield. But ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, the life of a trucker, the life of an RV transporter, life of a heart shotter, they meet danger on the road all the time. So I wanna encourage you, make sure you keep your eyes open, watch for flying objects, and uh, keep it safe out there. Until next time, we hope you have a great and wonderful day.